designer, sometimes you want to break the status quo and you don't like things as they come as default. And sometimes when you draw a square, you want to round the corners. But when you round the corners, you're like, you're still a square. I can still see straight edges and you hate it and you obsess over it. And you're like, how can Apple create an app icon that tapers towards the center? <laughs> That was exactly Mark's question in my previous video, what I'm about to cover today in today's Friday quickie. I don't know. Is this a series? Let's make it a series. All right. So let's jump right in. Now that we're here in Figma, I don't have anything yet. So I'm going to press R on my trusted keyboard to bring up the rectangle tool. I'm going to press shift as I click and drag uh, to create an actual square. I'm going to hold command and scroll up to zoom in because I want to see what I'm doing. Let's divert our attention here to the right panel, the properties panel, specifically this property here called corner radius. And over here, I'm going to press shift and continue to press up on my keyboard to round those corners. So you know, a hundred seems right. But as you can see, my corners themselves are rounded, but I still have the straight edges on <laughs> straight edge on all sides. Um, I want to make sure that I am doing that iOS icon sort of effect where uh, the rounded edges, it's more of a squircle or a super circle. I, I forget what people call it, but basically the rounded edges or the rounded corners are not the corners uh, only, but they taper off into the edges. And in Figma, that's actually really easy to do. You're, once you, you put the number here in the corner radius, you're going to go into the independent corners and we're not going to deal with the independent corners. But what we want to reveal is this little icon right here, which is corner smoothing. And that's exactly what we want to visit. When I click on that, you'll see this uh, little pulley over here. It looks kind of like a progress bar, but it has a knob that you can click on and you can drag. What's up? What's up with the um, what's up with this uh, contrast over here? This is kind of light. Anyway, I'm going to drag it over here and iOS. The, the, the perfect iOS roundness is around 60 percent and it's kind of hard to see. But if I if I move it over, let's pay attention to this, right? The, the corner radius itself. If I drag it all the way to zero, you're going to see how much closer to the corner it's it tapers off into a straight line. Whereas if I exaggerate this and go all the way to 100 percent, now you can see that there's a smoothing into that corner going into that straight line and the straight line itself is almost invisible. In fact, if I go back to this, click out of that and go from 100 to a much more aggressive uh, 140, let's say, when you have it selected again, this this corner smoothing comes all the way in. So that's it. That's all we have for today. <laughs> that was that was the my tutorial Friday. Uh, I just wanted to show you how to do that. Thank you, Mark, for posting your comment or your question in the comments down below. If you yourself have any other questions about something Figma related, UI UX related, career related, feel free to drop it down below in the comments. Make sure to like this video to let YouTube know that you actually liked it and to myself as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.